Okay, so at this point, we are going to answer your drill number three. Okay, so we're going to solve or answer your drill number three. Now let's start with the problem number one. Okay, what is the problem number one? So it says there, find the mass. So the first, we have to write the given values. So find the mass. So we are looking for mass of an object if the net force is 600 newton or kilogram meter per second square increases its velocity from zero. So the given here is the velocity. So the initial velocity is zero and the final velocity is 10 meter per second. Okay? At exactly 20 S or 20 seconds. So what is that? That is the time. So these three are the things that you need to solve for acceleration. Okay. Now there are two, there will be two formulas here. So formula number one, we need to solve for the acceleration. Formula number one. Okay. And you already know that when the velocities are given, the formula will be acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. Okay. So what is the final velocity? 10 meter per second. Initial velocity, it started at rest or zero so divided by 20 seconds so you need to settle first this one 10 minus zero of course the answer is 10 meter per second divided by 20 okay so in your scratch paper so kindly divide Okay, try not to use calculator, okay? In your scratch paper, try to divide manually 10 divided by 20. Okay, most of my students answered, Mom, the answer is 2. No, that's not correct because what they did was to divide 20 by divided by 10, okay? So that is to uh, make it clear that 10, it should be 10 divided by 20. Okay, so what's your answer? So 10 divided by 20, of course, uh, cannot be. So we will add 0. Okay, so you put the decimal there. So what you can divide now, 1 divided by 20 is... 5 okay so 5 times 20 is 100 okay so the answer or the acceleration is 0 0.5 meter per second square okay so please do not forget to enclose your final answer in a box now let us have the formula number 2 now we can look for the mass. We can solve for the mass now. Okay. Now what will be our formula for the mass? So remember, this is the original formula, right? F is equal to mass times acceleration. Now when we are looking for mass, the formula will be mass is equal to force divided by acceleration okay so you can also use the triangular method like this so f m a so 
if we are looking for mass, the formula will be F divided by A. If we are looking for acceleration, F divided by M. Okay? Now, let us substitute. What, what is the given force? 600 kilogram meter per second square divided by 0 0.5 meter per second square. You can cancel meter per second square. So, because we are looking for mass, the unit for mass is kilogram. Okay, small letter K and small letter G. So, in your scratch paper again, please solve or please divide 600 divided by 0.5. Okay, what you are going to do is to move the decimal place to the right and then you add 0. Okay? So, 6 divided by 5, we have 1. 1 times 5 is equals to 5. Then, 6 minus 5, 1. Bring down 0. 10 divided by 5, we have 2. Then, you can just copy that or 2 remaining 0. So, the answer is 1,200 kilograms. Okay, do not forget to enclose your final answer in a box. Okay, for the points, so I will give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 points for the given. And then I will give 2 points for formula 1. Okay, 1 point here, 1, 1, then 2 points for the final Answer, and then for formula 2, another 2 points, then 2 points here, and then 2 points. And I will give plus 2 for neatness or if your output, output has no erasures. Okay, for number 1, let's get the total score. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So for number one, the perfect score is 20 over 20. Okay? So who got perfect? Okay, very good. So let us now proceed to problem number two.